Hi, it's John T. again, and I'm back to talk to you about how you could use Omni Outliner or Omni Outliner Pro to create fishbone or Ishikawa diagrams. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Ishikawa diagrams, I'll give you a brief uh, overview of what they are and what they do. This is a, a picture of an Ishikawa diagram, and essentially what it does is it helps groups of people to determine the root causes of a specific or specified problem. So here you have, in this case they've called it an effect, and they've attributed different categories as being possible causes for the effect. So you've got man, method, materials, and machine, and management. When it comes to to the actual process, what it, it starts off with a brainstorming session and creates a pool of, of possible causes for the problem. Um, now once you've got that pool of, of causes, you create categories. Usually um, they're pretty standard uh, in terms of the categories and they always break down into one of two types of um, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't say always, they generally break down into one of two types of uh, categories. The production process where the categories will be machines, methods, materials, or people. And then you've got the service process where the categories will be policies, procedures, plant, and people. And in both cases what you may want to add on to them or also environment and measurement in terms of categories. But once you've got your categories, then you can start um, connecting causes to each category. Um, and when every time you connect a cause to a category, you ask the question, why is this a cause? And this will generate a few, one or two or three or more other causes to which you also ask the question, why are these causes? and eventually you'll uh, you'll get to a point where the cause is actually beyond the scope of the people in your group so there's no no real reason to pursue it beyond that so that at that point becomes a root cause so let me just show you how we're going to do that in omni outliner Here I've, I've done a bit of a brainstorming session and uh, the scenario is um, we own a takeout delivery place and we've got a problem with deliveries during the rush, the supper rush and that they're taking too long. And so supposedly what will happen is you bring your, your team together and you say, okay, what's going on here? And they throw out a bunch of ideas. This is your initial brainstorming session. Once you've got your brainstorming s session um, completed, you'll have a, a pool of, of causes and you'll do an affinity exercise which is just basically sort of either through consensus or just through through actual patterning determine that, okay, well, th these types of causes fit into different categories or form different categories. And so here, what I've done in this case is I've actually copied and pasted from, pasted from our brainstorming session up here down into these these categories. So I've, I've created a, a categories of people, equipment, methods, and materials. Now once I've got that, I begin to ask the question. Well in this case, let's, let's focus on equipment. Equipment, well, in terms of our delivery problems, uh, the, car, the delivery cars don't work properly, so I've asked the question why, and it's generated the qu the the cause. Well, the drivers all have junkers; they have basically machine uh, cars which are not not that reliable to begin with. And then we ask the question, well, why are the drivers driving around in junkers? And we may get the two two causes as being, well, they don't maintain their vehicles properly, and they don't get paid enough to afford a better car. Okay, well, in terms of affordability and low pay, um, generally within a group of this nature, it's beyond their scope. So that's where we end with that line. So we'll tackle the first one, don't maintain their vehicles properly. So if we ask the question, well, why don't they maintain their vehicles properly? 
we get two two responses or could get two responses um, poor training in other words they don't know they don't know how to maintain their their vehicles and uh, they have no time well the poor training again beyond the scope of the group although no time we can pro probe on that a little bit more so we ask the question well why do they not have time and we get the response well many have three jobs so they just they go from one job to the next without having any time to maintain their their vehicle well why do they have three jobs low pay will come back as the answer and again here we are at a root cause so once once we get all the root causes get to all the root causes for all the reason uh, for all the categories then we'll, we'll start to do some patterning to determine well what are the the ultimate or the real root causes and this can show up you can do this in one of three ways first of all you can just say well what's the consensus here what do we got what go, got going on here and and that's just asking the group and and basically they're looking at this diagram and they're saying well based on what we're seeing it looks like this is the cause the other is that they just appear repeatedly as in a pattern and another one is you can just physically like and this is good with Omni Outliner is just take them and group all the similar causes together but what I do like to do is I like to I, I respond better to colors so I'm just gonna show you what I did and I've color coded them and that's simply just selecting each with with the um, control bar button pr key pressed and for each similar cause I've created a the, sa the same background so you can see that the patterns show up very very nicely this way so that's how you would create a fishbone like diagram using Omni Outliner or Omni Outliner Pro I hope this has been informative this is John T the Omni Outliner Pro thanks for watching